Hello Taurus, <clears throat> this is your reading for the 6th through the 7th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> this is what we've got going on for you guys today. We have justice here, uh, something that you are weighing. Um, a lot of you are weighing your options, what should you do, but all in all, this is a need to have justice in a situation or try to make something right here, okay, <clears throat> is what this is, that's Libra energy. Oh, something just jumped out, two cards actually. Um, I feel like this is this is between you and someone else, somebody that um, you felt very strongly for, very deeply for. Um, there's some shared heartache here. Um, and, and maybe it's just, you know, a need to try to make something right in the situation with this person here. Okay, something you've been holding on to for a while. Um, and I think you don't, you're not really talking about it. And you probably haven't really discussed it with anybody either. But it's just something that I feel like you hold um, close to your heart. Um, not really have been opening up about it but you know still all in all very hurt um, I feel like there's something that that needs to happen here one way or the other is what I'm getting hmm yeah I feel like you guys were very hurt um, by someone okay or maybe you know you guys felt like you really hurt somebody and I feel like this is you you know really trying to avoid offering something, maybe an apology or something to someone, um, maybe an offer to start over, have a talk, sit down, you know, spend more time together trying to work this thing out. I think you've kind of just been holding on more to like what has hurt you, you know, in the past and not looking towards the future that you can have a new start here if you choose to because it's being offered. Okay, there is definitely an offer on the table here. So let's go ahead and clarify and see what this Ace of Pentacles is for. Why well, have the Ace of Pentacles here? Mm. You have a Queen of Swords here. Huh. You will say. Maybe some of you are trying to avoid um, offering to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius individual. Somebody that really is waiting to hear the truth from you. Somebody that's also very defensive, um, I feel. Hmm. I'm a magician. Hmm. This person is, um, you know, they're manifesting good things in their life, I feel. Um, probably in finance, just starting over. And then we have the King of Swords here. Wow. Huh. I feel like both of you guys are very stubborn. And both of you are in the same element. Cards are steady jumping out here. Um, and this is a chariot. This is a chariot. There's an opportunity for you guys to move forward successfully with someone. Because you guys are really in the same element. Okay. It's like you guys are a couple. Both of you, you know, I feel like you have deep feelings for each other. Um... And you may not be exploring those feelings. You may not be as like open to discussing like how you're really feeling. Both of you are um, looking at things from an intellectual standpoint, but somebody's looking for the truth from you. Okay, whatever that means for you guys, only you know what that is. Okay, and I think you know you've been avoiding this for a while. Somebody's been avoiding this for a while. Okay, we also have Capricorn energy here. And I feel like they're also holding on to some hurt, looking for justice in this situation. Um, but yeah, justice is here for both of you. So depending on what you do with this is like, you know, what will come back. Let's see. The Four of Swords. Taking some rest and time out to really think about, um, you know, what is going on between the two of you is what I'm feeling here. Libra energy <clears throat> right here. Trying to see what path um, is best to take. What should you do? What should they do, even? Okay. Somebody that you feel very strongly attached to. They feel attached to you, too. Both of you share this this um, this feeling of disappointment. Um, heartbreak is what I'm getting. You guys are connected strongly. Then we have the Empress here. Mm -hmm. 
this could have been your wife. This could have been your um, your child's mother. Or, you know, this is this is just how this situation can um, happen. How it can develop. There is. There is a potential for growth here. There is a potential for a new start here. Okay. Um, I feel like this person also represents for you, you know, beauty and support and love and, you know, everything I feel like you guys probably would want in a person. I feel like this person embodies that for you. And I feel like in a sense, and holding on to this heartbreak, you're also holding on to this person or they're holding on to you. You guys are holding on to each other because obviously there's a very strong um, connection here, okay, between the two of you. But there is an opportunity on the table for a new start for sure to wrap something up here. But um, I feel like you guys are really conf conflicted over this. Maybe you guys have had several arguments before with this individual. Um, lots of disagreements, um, not being on the same page, not, not wanting the same things or not striving towards the same things here. Okay. Hmm. I think you kind of go back and forth about, you know, whether or not you you should approach this person or not. Should I? Should I not? Should I go talk to them? Because I feel like you're attracted to them for sure. But then again, it's like, mm, no, I think, um, I think I'm going to move on. No, I'm not. Because you keep being pulled back, I feel, to this person. Okay? I feel like it maybe um, could be a, a fire sign here. Aries, Leo. Um, does not have to be. We also have Capricorn here. Aquarius, Libra. Mm -hmm. And maybe, um, you know, a Taurus... Um, like yourself even okay so let's see what the outcome is if here for you guys huh. three of wands hmm. you're kind of in your head about you know should you move on uh, or should you wait for this person or should you go towards this person should you move on you know it's like right here back and forth back and forth um, I'm not really sure on what to do because I, again, you guys, I know I sound repetitive, but there's an attachment here to this person. And you're really not sure if they have moved on either. You're not sure. You're wondering if this person has moved on. Oh my gosh, it's my phone. So now we have Gemini here in Aries energy. So anyway, guys, I think that will be it, and um, I will be speaking with you guys soon.